Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Evil Mage, and today I am back in SnowRunner. We're on the quarry map this time, and we've got two loads of uh, concrete slabs ready to go. Need to get them up out of the hill, or up out of the hole, I should say. We have fuel at the top of the hill there. So we can fill up as we head our way over to Zimnogorsk to complete the task. So, oops, not reverse. We have them double stacked. It's actually easier to get a double stack up the hill than it is to get a trailer out of this hole. So we're going to go ahead and run it this way. All right, try and get around this corner here. Might need to back up a little bit. Yep. All right, so we'll back up here just slightly. That should be good. Go ahead and head up the hill here. Make sure everything's on. Good, got all wheel drive and diff lock. Already in low gear couple little rocks right here. You may have seen Mad Mad get stuck on those a few times in our multiplayer. Because he never has the diff lock on before he gets stuck. This is a different pit. It's the same... It's the exact same hole with slightly different textures between Tamir and uh, Michigan. Uh, those rocks are even positioned in the same spot in Michigan, which is why he always gets stuck right there. <laughs> we made it up just fine. Okay. Going up the switch back. It's the easiest way out of here. And we are going to take a left. Yeah. It's this way. Oop. Hit a tree. Okay. Back up a little bit. Not too far. We don't want to dump the concrete. All right, we got around the pole. And then, is it this one? That doesn't look right. And it's not right. Okay, so we'll back up a little bit again. There we go, perfect. I'm going to go around the telephone pole here. Here's the turn we needed to make. Go ahead and take it wide. Alright, and I am going to back pretty much straight up. There we go. That should be good. All right, we made it out of the hole, and there's our fuel tank right up there on the road. You can just see it through the fog. The uh, Tega is already over at our garage and already loaded with the oversized uh, cargo. Um, that's actually where you pick it up from, is the garage, so you didn't really miss anything other than me using the crane to load it. Big deal. Now we just need to get these over. So we'll jump in the Dan. 
Those uh, concrete are just pinched. They are not on a crane cable. So we can still winch. The crane cable counts as a winch line, so you can't use the crane and a winch at the same time. Just FYI, for those of you that didn't already know. Alright. We have a nice, easy paved drive over to Zimnogorsk. Now. I have a few options here when we get to the other map. I can leave these double stacked and try and pull it behind the Tega and its trailer full of uh, oversized cargo. I can unstack it onto a trailer that we have over there and do try and pull the Western Star and a trailer with the Tega, or I can make two trips. <laughs> now, oversized cargo is heavy. Two sets of concrete, very heavy. On a trailer is less top heavy, but even heavier. I don't know what I want to do. It would be nice to be able to do it in one trip. But, I think my Tega is still on its stock engine. And I'm not sure it would be able to pull a trailer full of oversized cargo and a truck with two sets of concrete. That's a lot of weight. Okay, so we are in Zimnogorsk. What do we want to do here? I think that I'm going to go ahead and um, probably make two trips. We'll go ahead and refuel the Western Star. There we go. It's not going to let me back up because it's got the parking brake on since I let go of the winch line. As soon as you pull a vehicle off of a winch, it automatically sets the parking brake. Could be good or bad, I guess. Alright. Oop. Bit of damage to the Dan there. Jeez. The moment it's all suspension though. Not too big a deal. Go ahead and park that there. Uh let's jump in the Tega, I guess. See we're going all the way down here to the pier. All right, so we'll take the Tega here. It's already loaded. It needs fuel, so let's go ahead and do that. We just filled the Dan, so we have plenty of fuel. Just need to get it in the right vehicle. Okay, I think we're good there. Um, we probably need to get the fleet start out of the way though, because I'm going to go back that direction with the loads.
All right. So we'll pull this into the lot. Need to put on at least all wheel drive there. There we go. Okay. I think we'll go ahead and take two trips. I think it'll actually be faster. <laughs> so, we're gonna head up this way. We're gonna just run along this back edge up on top of the hill, all the way down to the other end of the map. Which we've taken this route a few times, so you know what's coming. Or should, if you've been following the, the playthrough. We have taken this route a few times lately. It's probably starting to get a little chewed up. But... I don't think it'll matter too much with the Tega tires. These things are beasts. These are the tires that everybody mods onto all of the other trucks. <laughs> Anytime you get like an OP mod of a truck, they've put these tires on it. Should be okay getting through the forest. We're a little underpowered at the moment. Because I think we still have the base engine. And this is a very, very heavy load. And top heavy. But we should be okay with this truck. Take all the corners nice and wide. Try and keep the trailer as level as we can. Can't keep it perfectly level, it's just not possible. But we shouldn't have any trouble tipping. To turn up the hill right here. I think we'll come. Yeah. It's pretty much just straight down this road. All the way till we hit pavement. There's a downed tree that you can't see buried in the mud right there. <laughs> and we're too close as it is. We're not going to be able to do a quick winch. We're going to have to set one up from the middle of the trailer to that tree there. And that'll push the truck forward and hopefully pop up over the tree. There we go. Right like that. Straight quick winch right out the front. Get us the rest of the way out of the mud hole. 
A little off balance there, but we're okay. Almost to that camp. One where we rescued the car from. There it is, right there. Gotta go up and over one more hill. And then it should be downhill into the lower part of the map. Come on. Get up the hill. There we go. Good winch point. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. That's what I thought. Need to make sure to get that corner in before the rocks. Okay, good. We are on to the paved road. Just need to go around the corner here. Yep. There's the edge of the road. It's the wrong way. Okay. To back up just a little bit.
I didn't really do that right, backing up, but that's okay. I think it'll get us... There we go. That'll get us around the tree. And there's our first drop-off. Go ahead and put the uh, cargo container in. And I'm going to run back with the Tega, load it up with concrete, and we'll come back down here again. Um, pretty simple trip, empty. Um, it is getting a bit torn up, but I don't see any issues, so I probably won't show the whole drive back. Okay, so here we are back at the garage. Let's uh, load up the concrete here and make our second trip. It was pretty torn up, so this might get a little hard. Probably have to do more winching than usual. Okay. Crane is... The concrete's being weird on the crane. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Set those there. Let's get the second load up on the trailer. It's not going to pack. Come on. That should pack, though. I hope. Let's go ahead and try that. Good enough. Switch back to the Western Star. We'll reset the crane. Shut off the truck. We have a full fuel tank because we already filled it from the dam. Okay. So, our center of gravity will be lower, but we have just as much weight. We shouldn't have an issue with any kind of tippage. We didn't even with the oversized cargo, which is higher center of gravity. But the road is getting really torn up. I mean, it's getting bad. So we're probably going to have to winch a lot on this trip. By the way, for those of you that are noticing a difference in the sound from my usual videos, I recorded all of this um, once already. And the audio track got messed up. So I'm pretty much re-recording it word for word. <laughs> Um, after the fact. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit of a lean. So yeah, everything I'm saying now, this is after the fact, so I kind of know what's going to happen. Um, but this is exactly what I was saying when I said it the first time. <laughs> 
but that's why it so probably sounds different. My uh, audio levels on my editing software are slightly different than my live recording sound settings in OBS. So, hopefully this will sound okay. Um, all right. So we are going to stay as far over on the high side as possible. We don't want the trailer sliding off the side of the road here. Take this one fairly tight here, tighter than we normally would, because we're going to try and stay as far left as we can. We don't want the truck itself going down in that mud. The trailer is going to go down there. Nothing we can do about that. It's just going to. But we don't want the truck down there, too, because that's when we'll get into trouble tipping. And we are back to that tree down in the mud right up here. See, we're leaning a little bit, but luckily the truck wasn't down in it. We were on fairly stable ground. All right. So the tree is gonna be right here. So we'll go ahead and winch from the side of the trailer. So that tree there, that'll push us up the hill and hopefully pop up over the tree. Perfect. All right. Now we have our straight winch point straight ahead of us. We are out of the water. A little further to get up to the top of the hill. This is the last hill we have to climb going there. After this, it should be all downhill. Oh, okay. I thought we were further than that. We do have one more hill to climb, but it's not a bad one. We are back at the camp where we got the uh, vehicle in a previous video. It was a Dawn. Little Russian Jeep looking thing. Now we're through the last of the hills. Okay. Just need to control the speed a bit down the hill.
All right. We need to take a left here. Okay, through the trees and we are just about there. Today's videos have been a little long. This one's way shorter than the earlier than this morning's though. So. This morning's went about 50 minutes, I think. But it was a lot to get done. It's only one task, but it was a big one. Lots of mud, lots of driving. <laughs> I rolled my truck. So. If you haven't been following the playlist for this walkthrough, um, there will be a link on the end page for the actual playlist. So if you've missed any of the previous videos for this playthrough and you want to see how I got to where I am, uh, click that link in the end uh, screen. And I hope you enjoy the shows. Okay, so we have finished another task here. Uh, seems like a good place to end the video. So if you enjoyed it, or if it was helpful to you in any way, please make sure you hit that like button. And feel free to subscribe to keep up with this or any of the other games that I'm posting. I hope to see you in the next video. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.